What is up, Core Addicts? Welcome back to the series where I customize and review past DLC and OG vehicles. Never got the chance to because I didn't start making car customization videos till about late 2015. As always, guys, let me know in the comments what car from late 2015 or do you want to see me customize next, and I'll display the most liked vehicle suggestion comment in the next customization video. So, in today's video, we're going to be customizing the Chevelle Surge. Now this car is an OG vehicle that's been in the game since day one and can be purchased from a 7 San Andreas website for $38,000 or of course you can get it off the street for free. And this car actually does have a few visual upgrades which is always quite surprising when we see these normal looking street cars that actually have some visual upgrades. Now in terms of performance, the car is an electric front wheel drive car, or at least it appears to be, I'll get into that later in the video. And it's in the sedans class and is below average in terms of performance being around the pace of the Stratum. But anyways, in terms of what the Surge is based on, it's primarily based on the Chevy Volt. And it also takes some inspiration from the Honda Insight as well. Now in real life, the Chevy Volt is a hybrid. However, in GTA, it's an all-electric car, or at least it appears to be because it does have an engine model when you pop the hood, which we'll get into later in the video. So it's essentially what seems to be a hybrid car that's stuck in full electric mode all the time. And this is the same scenario with the Chameleon in terms of its strange hybrid design that's always stuck in full electric mode. But anyways, let's go ahead and check out the customization of the Surge. All right, Surge. Driving in in complete silence. <laughs> Alright, we got armor, brakes, bumpers. Okay, front splitter accessory there. Not too bad. Okay, I guess we'll do that. Rear bumpers. Okay, like an extension. Okay, now it just might be the lighting, but the stock looks like it's... I don't know, it might be the lighting, or, or I could be right, but... The stock kind of diffuser area looks plastic texture, and then this looks like carbon. I don't know. So it's like carbon, and then with plastic above it just looks a bit strange, but we'll add it out of the way. Um, engine, uh, lights, some xenons. That looks a lot better. Adds to the whole blue accents we got going up front here. And something really cool, when you turn off the car, the little blue lines in the grill area turn off, so... Every time you get in and out of the car, which I can show really quick, exit vehicle. You can see now they're, they're, they're whoa, they're, the car's running right now. But uh, when we're outside, I'll show you that it, it turns off uh, and turns back on. But anyways, uh, back to where we were. We did lights. Now let's do plates. Got my plate that I put on all my electric cars right there. Perfect. Respray. So for this one, I was thinking like a pearl white, um, but after going back and forth with the idea, um, I thought a chameleon paint would suit this car pretty well, and the baby blue pearl kind of goes with the whole kind of like futuristic uh, concept um, of the car in terms of the electric and hybrid and all that, and the blue lights and the grill, all that craziness. So yeah, doesn't look too bad. A wild color, the perfect excuse of a car to put it on, so <laughs> let's do it. Uh, Gribblem goes on the hood. Okay. Skirts to match our other arrow. Nice. Spoiler, tuner wing for extra traction. Sure, why not? Suspension. Lower it all the way. Definitely. Wheels. Um, so for this one, we're going to go to the high end category. Basically, what I want to do is kind of transfer that kind of fluorescent blue trim of the grill area to our wheels. So we're going to go here to high end, we're going to go to stock, and then we're going to go to um, the, uh, where are they, the carbon, car Carbonic Z. We're going to put those right on there. Um, and then we're going to do the wheel color in fluorescent blue. And <laughs> looks pretty cool, the contrast. I mean, it's not the exact blue, but kind of a nice reference to it. And I think it's really cool looking on this car. Windows will do limo tints. And that's all the options there, so not too bad. All right, let's take it for a drive. Looks pretty cool from far away. Definitely a lot different than how it was stock, that's for sure. Okay, now usually in this segment of the video, I rev the car, but um, in that case, we have vacuum cleaner noises. <laughs> Interior, 
interesting there. Um, yeah, got the glass roof. That's part of this car, which is pretty cool. See the glass. I mean, I think it's glass, right? Let's see. Is it? With the tints, I can't really tell. Oh, yeah, it is. Yeah. Nice. Okay. We'll floor it. Wheel spin. Where it says front wheel drive electric. And it, you know, it, it goes. <laughs> it's decently. I mean, would you even call this quick? I guess it's kind of quick, sort of. It's not anything exciting, that's for sure. But, I mean, it, it gets going somewhat. <laughs> Handling the back end's a bit loose, even with that spoiler upgrade. Ooh! Whoops. <laughs> guy took. Guy was hauling through there. Front end still looks pretty decent. Get some acceleration out of the corner. Wait, it's not the greatest. It doesn't have that kind of like instant push of acceleration out of a corner. It's like really gradual. That's floored. It's like gradually gets to its speed. Yeah, it's not, not the greatest. Of course, it's in it like it's supposed to be an economy electric slash hybrid car, not really a performance electric vehicle. But with all the performance upgrades we put in it, it would be nice to kind of have that punch of speed coming out of corners. Doesn't really have that, unfortunately. Yeah, it's a it's a car. <laughs> <laughs> it's a car, and if we open all the doors and stuff, let's do that really quick so you guys can see what I'm talking about, the engine. Really similar scenario to the, um, well, similar case to the Chameleon, where you can see it has an engine model, but it doesn't do anything. It's just there for decoration, because the car is always stuck in electric mode. Same exact thing with a Chameleon. Uh, interior, just copy and paste for most of the coupes in game. Got a rear hatch, opens up. Not bad there. But yeah, you know, it does what it does, and you can see the grill right now is off, the lighting in it. But when I start up the car, even with the lights off, well, if I turn the lights off, you'll see that it's on right there. And when I get out, it turns off, get back in, turn on the car, and it's on again. Look at that, really cool, even with the lights off, which is, I guess that's kind of like the daytime running light of this car. <laughs> that's pretty cool there. Uh, and then the actual lights themselves are pretty cool, they got like these little blue LED lines like in a U shape kind of cool there kind of match the the grill I mean it's different it's unique um I think it's definitely a lot better of a vehicle to own than the Premier um or the Acia even though the Acia drives a lot better than this but um yeah it's uh it's it's interesting I I'd say it's unique enough to to definitely put a space in your garage for it but with the current space of cars in GTA, I just don't have space for it personally in my collection. Uh, but it, it's still a cool car to consider for sure. And it's really cheap. Or you can get it off the street for free. So <laughs> you have some options there. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Remember to let me know down below in the comments what car from League 2015 and older you want to see me customize next. Thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you in the next one.